Hello everybody, I am Brayman19 and welcome to episode 52 of our Ottomans campaign in your opening of Versailles 4. So I put some thought to it, I think I'm just going to run the game until the end right now. Um, yes, I would love to take on the Papal State, but I just don't really want to deal with Brandenburg. It's going to be a long war. This series is pretty much at an end anyway, it's done all that I want it to do. Um, unless there's maybe something like taking over a weird territory out this way. Which, you know, not really seems like that's that's not something I don't see uh, out here. Yeah, I don't really want to fight that. And the Netherlands, not a bad idea to go after that. But unfortunately, Russia is involved. Let's see, is there anything else out here? I'm going to keep, I'm just keeping things running. There's Sulu. Brunei, pa yeah, okay, Tondo. So they, they'd have some friends. Urbino. Huh. go here. There's also Brunei. Yet Russia is no longer willing to fight. Where's Venice still? Oh, down here. Any little thing else? Yeah, we're just using that to help fight some devastation. A more Mughal land down here. Attacking Russia, brings in Delhi. Korea brings in Ming. War up here over now. Yep, looks like it's over. Brandenburg took some more territory. Took some of uh, the Netherlands. I mean, just crazy, man. That's all done. We now just wait. Establish. Let's see. Amens get into that Kahan until the end. Stability cost modifier, but ideas cost. I really. Don't see the point of this. Yeah, we're just going to kind of, I think we'll just let time go, guys. There we go. Let it go. Don't see ourselves having to do, do too much else. Just run out, the, run out the clock now. That way we can start our next campaign in the Italian region. Which that has not been determined as of quite yet. Um, who knows what it'll be, I don't know. As, with the, as of the time I'm recording this, it has just barely even hit. So everybody's wondering, well, where is that, you know, whatever campaign? Uh, it's just because... Uh, well, I record about a week in advance, I tr or I try to record the next week's, uh, the week prior. So I'm always a bit ahead. Okay, it's 18.04 still. I'm just letting the world work out. 
I wonder how our aggress or how our uh, coalition look is. Yeah, it's pretty bad, but it should really be ticking down. Let's go ahead and do our states. Yep, here we go. Ming no longer can uh, no longer considers us a rival. Go ahead and do this just a little bit more. Those, those. Needs to be upgraded? No. Can these be... Oh, the wrong guys. Um... Where'd my... F what do you call a fleet go? They didn't go to war with somebody and they get caught out in the open, did they? No, they say they're out there somewhere. Huh. Oh yeah, I sent those guys off. Over to here. And yeah, nothing needs to be done anyway. Um, more states. Do this one? Yes. Yep, pulling Italy in. Yep, new Padisha. We can go ahead and say we probably are not going to be the old decrepit man. Let's go ahead and continue running it. I mean, a pretty strong, solid Ottomans. No, I did not go taking over the world. That was never the plan. Annex that vassal just because I want to. Come on, let's get these cores done. Let them squabble amongst themselves. Still 1806. We've got nearly 10 years in, and I've kind of stopped a little bit here and there. I can see this episode going a little bit longer to get these 15 years in. Can't make this thing go any faster. Yeah, 
Russia got ate into pretty good by the Mughals and the Brandenburg and Scandinavia and us. A Korea might have done a little bit. The Ming seem to have done just a little bit. Okay, looking good. Let's see, roughly 130. Yeah, about 140, 150, somewhere in there. Left to go. Sixty-four states and sixty-nine territories. Wow. Get ready to have a missionary done. Go ahead and do that. Let's just go ahead and do this, just for fun. Everywhere is going to get one. Some places, they're not going to get any kind of benefit whatsoever. But I have so much money, I don't care what I do. <laughs> okay, one more. See anything else? Um, that guy. Let's do this one. I go do that. I mean, we're just so far in advance right now. Just clicking it to let it do. Actually, military technology is at full top level. Everything hits 32 and bottoms out. Into the golden era. Let's go on and check out Coalition. The game's just chugging. I can't help it. Yeah, these guys, they're not going to go away anytime soon. And I don't see myself being able to attack anything. Keeping an eye on these guys, I'm at 89, almost 90% on the Hormuz. Still got 10 more years left. I'm going to add one more. Um... Let's 
Smack Reputation. There goes Hormuz. Gone. Um, another Diplo reputation there. Uh, let's take these. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Go. You gotta go. You gotta go. All right. Putting one of these in everywhere. Look at it, just fill in the gaps. I mean, I'm making 548 right now. Looking good. Just continue on down. Just continuing to click. Like it's starting to run out though now. I mean, I don't really see anything else for me to do. I mean, I'm just continually... A lot of places are actually starting to get done as I'm doing this. that all right um let's go in here to here um advisor cost improve relations do that first. Let's do that one. Okay, let's go down here, choose. that one and then
There we go. Perfect. Everything's working out really well. Got about seven years left in the game, and I'm going as fast as I can. We're hitting some super proper, uh, prosperous times. Here we go with these. Thanks, I don't care. <laughs> Let's do this. Three. It's 1815. Still going. Alliance with Killa. We'll lose that money. No big deal. Is he just doing these now? I mean, I'm just switching between the building types. Getting whatever I can done. Still got five more years left. Shouldn't take but about a minute each. this one next. Come on, speed it up, game. I'm actually probably going to stop making it do things. Coalitions are still out there. Aragon's at 169. Austria's at 163. Navar uh, Papal States at 171. To go and declare war would still bring Brandenburg down our heads. Go and get rid of that. Yeah, make sure we stay in power too. Can't just say goodbye to everything. Hmm. Well, we really don't have anybody on the throne elsewhere. I mean, Malacca has it. Oh man, I just barely missed this one actually. Okay. 
Okay. It's 1819. Right, almost done. Let's grab this. I need more prestige than they do and I have 61 crap if I have some kind of thing I'm going to try to get Defender of the Faith just see if I can let's do that I don't want to worry about that anymore Eighteen twenty. End is right around the corner. It's April 1820 right now. More merchants could do development costs. I really don't have anything else though. Legitimacy is as high as it can be. Hmm, at the maximum for that. that one development needs to be done Just so unfortunate. Okay, moving into November in 1820, December 1820, January 1st, 1821. And that's it. All right. So, by the end of it, we had the 7th largest army, the 6th largest navy, the most provinces, the highest province value, the 2nd highest income, and the 6th highest trade income. We did really friggin' awesome. Um, I mean, you take a look here, great stability, prestige wasn't as high as I would have liked, 56 ideas, you know, 7 across the board, alright, not bad. 400. 50 provinces, 124 religious unity. Could have definitely put more men up. I probably should have done that. Could have also put in more naval force. Well, let's show the timeline. So here we are, little bitty Ottomans. 
And as you can see, I just start getting, I'll start getting at it here. I go really, I start slow, and everybody got really mad about how slow I started. I, I you know, I'm not too mad about that, honestly. I mean, I felt like, you know, I did much better than what most people would give me credit for. You see, I start taking a, little, a couple chunks out over here. I do some chunks over here, some chunks over here, some chunks over here. I mean, my early game was really just slow. Then you start seeing up oh, big chunk. I think this is when I started to really get my feet underneath me, not caring, you know, about everybody else, and just doing my own thing. Yeah, definitely when that started happening. Yep, just start eating some things. Mamluk's getting it. QQ getting it. Yeah. Yep, start eating a little bit of the Great Horde. Eating some more of the Mamluks. Eating some of Hungary. Eating some more of the Mamluks. Helping Crimea eat some of Russia. And Hungary. Yep, more Mamluks. All the coast, actually. More of Hungary. All that. Yes, just eating more of the Mamluks, of course. Tunis, some. Yep, all of Tunis. More of this stuff. Look at Russia getting beat by me and Brandenburg. There's all of the Mamluks gone. Crimea joint up, then we're going all the way up to Russia. Did Parisian Pasha. Definitely, uh, definitely the Sultan of Rum. I mean, just... Doing all of it. Did a little bit of eating over here. Coming down through here. There's Italy mine. Let's see, anything else? Yep, there we go. Last things last. A little bit of Hormuz here. Then we just kind of ran the end of the game out. You know, the world map turned out pretty nice. I mean, diversity in North America and South America. Africa is really kind of dominated between the Songhai, Kilwa, and myself. Um, Russia in Northern Asia, Korea in the East with Ming, uh, Bengal and Dakon and Malwa kind of ate up all of uh, you know India here. While the Mughals kind of got most of the eastern parts of the Middle East. And uh, some parts of India. We, of course, got all the Middle East, uh, the Balkans, South, you know, Europe, uh, parts of, you know, West, you know, Eastern Europe and Western uh, Asia, you know, Africa, of course. Brandenburg taking very all of care of that. Scandinavia got formed. Great Britain did a really good job, in my opinion, um, taking over Iceland and stuff. Nobody ever went for that. Okay. All right, um, yeah, Aragon. Aragon had a nice little, you know, empire. And, you know, the funny thing is, is that Por Portugal, personal union, Castile and early, and it just, nothing happened between Castile and Aragon. So Spain never got to be, you know, really form. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at achievements. I could have definitely got that if I would have kept going. Um, so we got total control. Own 100 or more provinces. Uh, Parisian Pasha, which is what we were after. Live long and prosper. Have 30 states of prosperity. At the same time as you have a 7-year-old ruler. That was nice. Just a little patience. Play a campaign from 1444 until 1820. That was what I was after just now. Definitely the Sultan of Rome. Own and have cores on Rome, Moscow, and Istanbul as Ottomans or Rum. Combined arms. Have both an admiral and a general with a trait. All that shy, all that slime shall be mine. As a greedy ruler, take all of a nation's ducats in a peace deal. Aggressive expander, own 200 provinces, AAA credit as a great power, take on over a thousand ducats of another nation's debt. Uh, gold, a golden empire, enact a golden age, and rule discover, discover all non wasteland provinces 2,896 of 2,896. Pretty awesome. Really a great one. Um, Really did kind of love how this went, you know, and I mean, it was really fun. So let's see if I had my capital in uh, Chihalas or whatever, I would have owned 10 coffee producing and that would have worked. 
So yeah, but uh, well guys, I really do appreciate all the amazing support I got in this. It was, I mean, just awesome. I, I really do appreciate everybody and everything that y'all did. All the new subscribers, all the new viewers. Don't worry, there's more EU4 coming. Um, I do not know the next one, but we will see what that is once this is all done. And I will be coming back next time with a brand new series. So, alright guys. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out a link for Discord in the description below, and I will see you all next time.